audience, my units at. Think now about use the target market in the handout I gave you. And it looks like this. Okay, it looks like that. Look at that units at and think about are you in the target market? Who is the target market? Thank you, Paul. Right. So remember we were saying last time that you can categorize me as an artist or a creative. That's my little label. Thank you, Shay. So that's what target market is about. You can go down. This is very important, guys. So when you judge that unit ad, you can go down for me. Please, what they're going to ask you usually. Obviously, the pictures, the font, the font or the typeface, plus the pictures. Come in. Mr. Sender, not quickly looking for me. No problem. How are you going to get attention? This is the answer to one of your questions there. You're going to get it with pictures, you're going to get it with font or typeface. Okay. Yes, go down, please, Courtney. How are you going to hold the person's interest by saying something maybe that appeals to them? Go down one more. Then you're going to appeal to that list of needs. The handout I gave you now, you see on that list of needs, one of the needs is the need for status. Right, go down one more. And the very important thing, you need to tell me whether that unit's ad works for you. Is it going to convince you to go and buy unit sugar? So I want your opinions at the end of the class. You can go down one more. Right. So the way you get attention, as I said, with the pictures and the fonts. Go down one more. And one more, please. Images, language, the layout. Okay, so the most important things here is the image and the font. Also called the typeface or the type of lettering. Okay, but then the type of language you use as well. Go down one, please. How do you get the interest? Okay, just to sum it up again, fix. Language, yes, go down. Okay, then you've got all these different visual techniques. You can have statistics, you can have a graph. If it was for COVID vaccinations, you might have a graph because it's a serious topic. If it's for kids, you might have a part two. All these things are listed in the handout that you got last week. Okay, rhetorical questions, puns, you've got to know figures of speech to understand the persuasive language in advertising. Yeah, Very important, see. the slogan. This is an answer to one of the questions on your handout. The slogan is the thing that will catch the attention. And the slogan is very often put close to what? A picture. Almost, if you look at this unit oh, ad. Good. The slogan is put close to the logo. And the logo represents who? The people. And who are the people? The company. Jacob Zuma. The brand name. You can call it the brand name. That's another answer to one of your questions there. Okay. All of these things are repetition, exaggeration, um, cliches, puns, alliteration, rhetorical questions, punchy headlines. That all relates to figures of speech. Okay. And you also get jargon sometimes if it's a technical ad. Okay. Go down one, please. Right. So here you've got an advert of someone in a fur coat. This is selling an idea. The idea they're trying to market here is that you must not buy real fur. Because the text here is almost like they're trying to sell this in a fashion magazine. And then you realize she's got blood all over her hands with a knife that's got blood on. Very powerful image. Very <laughs> shocking. Where she's speaking. That he fell off of an idea. And it said, oh, if your dear is... Go down one more, please. Okay. When you study an yeah, advert, if you're going to get an yeah, advert in the post. test, you've got to look out for these things. Right. What is it? Who's your target market? Is it appealing? What words do they use? And does the picture work for the target market? Go down one more piece for me. Okay. Most important, if you have money, are you going to buy this thing? Look at the units ad. You're going to tell me now if you have money, are you going to buy units instead of another sugar? I will buy you not because but it's expensive, but it's worth it. Okay, very nice answer. We're going to get to that point in a minute. Very good. Go down. More linguistic techniques, personal pronouns. Guys, do you remember what personal pronouns are? I, me, you. Okay? So those are the words that the advertisers love to use. Some people say that the word you is the most important word in advertising. 
you are going to love this. You're going to be needed for this. But it could also be someone giving a testimony like that woman in the Eulis ad. I use the sugar. Okay. So please look out for personal pronouns. That speaks directly to the target audience. Okay. If they say black middle class women love using Eulis. Oh, target audience isn't going to read that. They're going to be like, oh, they're gossiping about us in that magazine. If they say, oh, Bussy, that's a friend of mine. She says, I use, I, personal pronouns. Can you see how important that is? It speaks directly to your target audience. No doubt one. <laughs> repetition of words. Okay, that's in some ads. You get repetition. And the next one, please, for me. Facts. If it's something about COVID, you're going to need facts. You're going to need graphs. You're going to need statistics. Not a lot of punchy, catchy things. Go down one, please. Right, guys. Who are your target audience here? Right, this is going to be for who? Women, Women and teens. Yeah, who is this going to be for? Family. People. What kind of people? Dogs. Families. Families. What kind of families? Big families. Small Family families. families. Small. First time home buyers. Okay, they're buying their first little house. It's tiny, but it's going to work for them. They're going to love it. Who's this for? Mother, artists, artists, mothers, home decorators. Who's this for? Dad. Who's this for? Dad. My uncle. Okay. Who's that for? Babies, dogs, Vita. cats. But the baby got so by. Baby got fish. by. Oh, 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 fish. Mothers, mothers. <laughs> yeah. Who's this for? Teenagers. Oh, oh, teenagers, businessmen. Who's this for? Machinos. Tourists. No, this is all like the Armanis and all the big, <laughs> big expensive brand names. This is people with lots of money. Probably <laughs> urban people. For you. Right, so you've got to move your audience to action. Very important. How are you going to get you the CEO of Ulysses? How are you going to get your people to buy your shoes? Can I have a question? Yes, please. Okay, so you can see that you've got to get your people to get your people to buy your shoes. You can have a question. Yes, please. Okay, so you're going to use gimmicks. This is where your gimmicks come in. Very nice. All these things you've probably seen. Buy one, get one free. Free sunglasses with this magazine. Discounts, bargain of the century, reduced prices, all those catchwords that tell you, oh, I'm getting a bargain here. Gimmicks, they're also known as bribes. Okay, it's known as a bribe. Go down, please. Language that is used. You can get informal language, even some slang. And go down one, please, for me. And then you also get informative language, which gives you facts. How informative is this Ulix ad? It says it's the favorite sugar. Does it prove that? Yes. How does it prove it? It proves that they are on the packet pure sugar. Okay, can you see they're using an opinion and they're making it seem like a fact? And they're using this one woman's testimony. They're making her opinion seem like an expert opinion. And they're making it seem like a fact. Go down, please. Uh, I use like coffee sugar. D. Emotive language, okay, persuasive and emotive appeal. Okay. You can go down. You can even uh -huh. use sensationalism. You can go down one more. Okay, bias. That's advert with a fur coat where she has a bloody hand. Obviously, they slanted there. Their bias is do not kill animals. Okay, go down. Right, here you've got a visual and you've got a font. Very twirly, weird font. It's for ABSA. There's your logo. Today, tomorrow, forever. Together. That's their logo, right? Logo right at um, the, sorry, the slogan right at the logo. Who's going to buy this? Who's going to start banking on ABSA? My pa. My father. Yeah, but look at this. It's a sandal. It's a leather sandal. It's got lots of Indian -y sort of beautiful design and font. Ma'am, it doesn't fit with the Absa. It's very weird for Absa. I think Absa is trying to hook hippies that want to go to India on a pilgrimage. Can you see how the font suggests India or some exotic, very... Yeah, anywhere where you go to go on a pilgrimage, right? Can you see that the font speaks to that? Okay, it's all twirly-whirly. It's for your hippies that want to go to India. Go down. 
<laughs> Please remember all these words. What the logo is, Absa. What the slogan is, and this is these words here. Is for okay. your copy. Copy is the answer to one of the questions on your handout. All these words written here and these words written here are called the copy. That's the text in the advert. The copy. Do you want to go down, guys? <laughs> wow. You are you. So simple. What does this ad say? You owe yourself. You owe yourself this song. Yes. You are very good. Yeah, Could this be used on a billboard? Yes, yes ma'am. Could it be used in a magazine? Yes. yes. In a newspaper? Yes. It's very good because it can be used in various oh, wow. different types of media. Go down one, please. Okay. So, very minimal. Beautiful design. It's very versatile. It can be used in many different types. Go down, please, Morton. Okay. Your original idea, careful thinking, went into this. A lot of brainstorming, okay? You can go down. Wow, another beautiful car ad. This is a congratulatory note because they won the car of the year, um, car of the year for that year. Look at this, how simple. Guys? Ma'am, that's BMW, but it says congratulations to Audi. Oh, sorry, yeah. It does. Oh, yes! And thank you, Evan. Thank you. Evan actually spotted this ad properly. Okay? Because this is BMW saying, oh, we're not going to be sorry losers. We're still going to congratulate the other team. Okay, but that's great brand marketing. Because they, can you see how good that is? Well spotted, Evan. What's going on here? Brogan Vivazella, okay? Because they're having a break from whatever soccer game. And what you have here, have a break, have a Kit Kat. It's their slogan. Yeah, have a break, have a Kit Kat. You think Kit Kat, right? Kit Kat. Yes, next slide. Brilliant. Brilliant picture. Huge teddy bear, huge car. Okay, we'll take it going there. Next, next slide. Another very, sorry? It's like my car, yeah. A very sensationalist advert. Very sensationalist because she went on an overseas trip. And she's bringing back her curios that she bought on her trip. But there's blood dripping out of her suitcase. So again, she's done something that didn't take animal rights or the planet into account. Go down one. Very sad as well. Also marketing an idea. Stop global warming. Otherwise the seals are going to have no ice left. They won't be able to sleep on a block of ice. They're going to have to be a bath here and sleep on the park bench in Victoria Park. Go down one more. Guys, what do you think of this? This is one child is holding something that's been banned in America to protect them. Which one was banned? The little red right. That's gone. Education. Little red riding hood was banned because they said the fairy tale has a wolf who eats someone, and that's far too violent. That's what means. But she has a gun. So America doesn't ban guns. You see what it's saying about America? It's actually speaking to the politicians and the lawmakers of America. That's the time of the here, right? And the responsible people. So, do you get that, guys? Okay, because your target audience here are the people oh, who are the leaders. Go down, yes. Oh, no, This is amazing. The guy by the way. The drugs is a hunter, the drugs is a drumstick. It's a whale, a drumstick, and a squid. So this is to say you can store the impossible if you buy this um, storage device for your electronic files. Very clever, eh? Because it's just wacky. It's completely wacky. Next slide. Okay. Because this is all put on that handout that I gave you. Okay, the handout I gave you last week. It's all last your man. advertising techniques. You can go down one. Okay. This is an example of an unfinished advert. You can see there's very little text. There's a visual. It looks like dominoes falling down. It's gonna fall on the ball, man. It looks like they're putting on the brake just soon enough for the safety, right? But it also has that sense of precision when dominoes fall beautifully. So they're advertising here yeah, safety and precision and perfection. Okay. But that's an example of an unfinished advert. Very minimal, very few words. Go down one, please. 
Here's another unfinished advert. They've got a line up there. Isn't this beautiful? It's a Lexus car. They're advertising the sound system in this car. So all you can see is they've transformed the telephone wires into music notes. It looks like this boy in it. It's so sophisticated. Go down one piece for me. So there you can see, they've got a catchline. Okay, the catchline is the phrase that's not... Guys, take note of this. The catchline is not the slogan. The slogan is with the advert in every advert. The catchline here is just for that one advert, which is advertising the sound system in that particular model of Lexus. Lexus might have a different slogan, like safety and perfection. But here, this is their catchline. Those are the memorable, catchy words that you're going to remember. But it's not going to be in every Lexus ad. Do you understand the difference between a slogan and a catchphrase? I'm going to wait two more minutes. Five years. Wow, catchy. Five years. 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 Okay, different types of adverts. Alright, just wait one minute please. We just need to finish this. Go down one more. Just, oh, you can go down on this one. Is that the last one? Oh. Then you've got billboards, right? What's the billboard in Occupants? A billboard. Um, um. This is very bad. You can't see it. You can't see it. You can't see it. You can't see it. Then you've got McDonald's. Not too long. Look here, I've got just one more minute, guys. Do you see this? Wait a minute. Slogan. Go down one more. Look at this billboard. Unfinished advert. Okay, can you see? No words. What brand is this? Coca. 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 Coca.